So the BM course is the Bachelor of Medicine course that is designed to uh, give you a basic grounding in the elements of medicine um, and it takes you up to five terms. The Final Honours School or FHS um, is the honours, gives you the honours degree and it's an opportunity to work in a specific area of your choice. So rather than following the syllabus which the BM follows, uh, the FHS allows you to specialise in an area that you found particularly interesting uh, during your first five terms. Um, and it's divided into five what we call options, and you will pick one option and study that for the uh, entire four terms. Um, the uh, FHS allows you not only to uh, go to lectures and seminars and have tutorials in your area of interest, but there's also what we call an extended essay, which is uh, a long essay, and a research project where we hope that most students will go into a lab and carry out their own original research. The objectives of the FHS course are primarily to give students a really good grounding in the scientific evidence base um, that underpins modern medicine and modern biomedical science. Modern medicine um, prides itself uh, on being evidence-based, but it's important that our students understand that evidence base and understand how to criticise it and uh, um, validate, uh, evaluate it. Um, so we um, ask our students to get familiar with the primary literature, to understand uh, the experimental basis of the evidence um, that they are reading about um, and to apply it in their experimental project. All the information about the FHS can be found on WebLearn. Um, it's up updated annually and so all the documents should be up to date. Um, and that information includes everything from how uh, each option is laid out to uh, all the assessments that they will undertake, all the marking schemes, past papers, uh, examiners reports and so on. Yes, we take student feedback on the FHS uh, um, very seriously. Um, we think it's very important. Um, we collect feedback um, on each lecture uh, and seminar that's given. Um, but also we have end-of-term feedback on every aspect of the FHS course. And that feedback is collated and looked through by the FHS course committee and is acted upon. Um, and um, as the ex-FHS uh, course committee chair, I can say that every year we made changes to the course based on the previous year's student feedback. Of course, that feedback didn't benefit the students that had finished the course, but it benefits the students coming in next year. So it's a constantly evolving course, and that evolution is based to a great extent on student feedback.